Welcome to Egregious Intent Radio, episode two, featuring me, Isaiah Quinones, and Woo! Michael Sima, C-I-M-A. That's how you spell it. Everybody, I have something to celebrate with you all, and that is The Depraved, the short film that we've been talking about the making of, is available now on Troma Now. You can click the link in the video description. I'll probably post it there. If I don't, you can find it on my Instagram bio. Or you can go to watch.troma.now and search The Depraved. It's also in the new This Month category. Give it a watch. Let us know what you think. Uh, Leave a comment. Uh, Or don't. You can just text me and tell me that you liked it or call me a fraud. But uh, also wanted to remind everybody that we've got our giveaway going on. Uh, actually, you know what? Is this is it gonna be going on by the time this comes out? No. Well, then you missed out. Uh, the winners have already been announced. You failed. We have a very special guest today. <laughs> he is a psychotic, cannibal, maniac, lying sack of shit. That's in me. the in the film, of course, not. <laughs> uh, he plays Ron Clark slash Calvin Brown in The Depraved, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is, Everett Marshall. Hello. Hello. I just came in. He just let me in. I just, I finally let him out. Yeah, yeah I'm in a cage. Yeah, we mm-hmm. finally let, let this guy out. It's nice to see the, the sun a little bit. It's pretty, pretty bright. Yeah. <laughs> I can make it a little bit Hello. brighter. Hello, everybody. Maybe I can dim it. Is this dimmer? Oh. That's oh, dimmer. my God. You have control over the sun. <laughs> yeah. Made, That's incredible. That's mood lighting. Oh. Hello, everybody. Now, Everett is an incredibly awesome guy, and oh. I'm really, I'm really glad that you're here and uh, that you can talk a little bit about your experience making the depraved and and working with all of us. So, Absolutely. Uh, you know, just walk us through the sequence of events that, at least from your perspective, that led you onto the project, and mm-hmm. you know, kind of hear it from your from your voice my, cause, my perspective my yeah voice. okay I, I don't really know your side of the story i only really know my mine and yeah. a little bit of even seeing the side of the story so walk okay. us through it man gotcha well i remember the first thing you ever asked me was if i would dye my hair for a role <laughs> and i was like yeah sure mine is, uh, yeah i don't have a problem with that and then didn't end up dying it so I don't, I don't even remember, remember asking you. Yeah, to I think do it was, that. I think it was like you were like asking if I could dye it black. And the only, my only thing was like, can I get it a natural color? And you're like, absolutely. But uh, yeah. So that I remember that. And then pretty much just after that, just tell me a little bit about the project. He gave me the script at one point. Um, told me like what role I'd be playing, and I, I was like, I'm down. Sounds great. Um, I was like, I don't know how great of a psychopath I can be, but I'll try my best. <laughs> uh, but then after that, just kind of, eventually you told me more details about it, told me where we were shooting, all that stuff, and ended up going on the first day, meeting the rest of the crew, seeing everybody. Uh, oh, we did the uniform. You gave me my uniform. Yeah. And like asked me my sizes and stuff, and the uniform looks great. It was a little small, <laughs> but it was a lot small. It was, yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> well, like I'll I'll be perfectly honest. I I think your costume is my favorite mm-hmm. of all of the costumes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really like a lot of the costumes in in the movie, but I thought that yours was definitely the best, and it was such yeah. a good luck find. Yeah, like I because I went to, go to Goodwill. I went to Goodwill. <laughs> um, with my with my brother Michael, who mm-hmm. uh, is also a producer on this, and he he and I were just like looking around, and it, it was like it was like a gift from God that that <laughs> that outfit was like laid out, yeah, like right there, and I was like, holy shit, because I have this binder, and it was full of all kinds of like information about the movie, little mm-hmm. ideas, like I pull like images from like the 60s and 70s, like men's fashion stuff, and like what what kind of look would you have i definitely envisioned like a lot of yellow <laughs> there's definitely a lot of that and i uh i had that image with me and i was looking around and i found this 
costume. It was yellow, so it checked off that box, but it was also just like better than anything else that I could have possibly come up with, and it was just laying right there. Mm -hmm. And I had your measurements, but I feel like like I probably should have had you there. Like you probably should have like I probably wouldn't have taken it. So it's a good thing you, you didn't have me there. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz when I put it on, I was like it fits, but barely. Yeah. <laughs> like, there was like so. there was a I think it was during one of the last nights of shooting, I remember like you well you were like fed up with that costume. Oh, I, luckily enough, for the majority of shooting, the jacket was not. Yeah. Because it was small so it was a little, little bit uncomfortable and it was hot so yeah. it was also, also uncomfortable that way mm -hmm. so luckily i didn't have it on for most of it but i know that first day i was sweating a whole bunch the last day yeah i was definitely like i remember i was telling you pretty much i think since the beginning that i was planning on ripping the jacket yeah after we were done with it which did end up happening yes you did. but <laughs> i even put it on and ripped it a little bit yeah too. that's how tight it was is that me just moving my arms in front of me like to almost hug myself ripped the jacket it took some doing but it was definitely tight yeah but uh yeah i was pretty pretty fed up with it at that point the the pants though however they, while they were tight made my butt look really good so well i'll tell you <laughs> we'll insert we'll insert screenshots we have, right we've now we've got like i remember just, when just i was cutting it, it, i was like this the, guy has got a great ass just play the play the video the little shot of me walking up those stairs oh, yeah. where you just Ooh. yeah i was like i lingered i was like man mm. i was like thank god this is a, a one take I one shot to, i tried to keep my ego in check but mm. <laughs> not bad yeah <laughs> but no it was it was it was fun yeah the 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 uniform was tight but it was it was doable mm -hmm. once i got in it and kind of like shifted around and it kind of just mm -hmm. it was fine after that yeah so. I, mean, I remember the heat being a thing yeah definitely that first day yeah the first we day were was outside tough. for a good chunk of it yeah and also like what like all of the interiors like everything in the dining room we had to kill the ac for sound oh yeah so oh, no. i remember that was like a big uh thing like yeah. george and i talked about that yeah. like we were like he was like do we have to kill the ac and i was like we can keep it on like while we're not doing anything but yeah. like while we're filming like we have to shut it off because oh, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna completely yeah you know. i remember like if we didn't need the audio for like a few of those introductory shots we didn't need the audio so like the ac could stay on but it's like oh it's time to talk switch yeah and then 10 minutes later you're just like oh just god like boiling <laughs> oh no oh god so yeah that costume was i feel like i it added at least for like my perspective which matters the least like like a lot of like, le say that, like okay. legitimacy yeah, well, you know, the, like, the cost. That's what I said. The costume looked good. Yeah. Like, you didn't, you couldn't. I don't think you could see on the on the film like all the personal issues that I had with. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly because like the the shirt, the only thing that sucked with that it was wasn't it didn't feel long enough, mm -hmm. so it popped out every now and then. Yeah. Uh, the pants were a little tight, which I'm sure people could probably notice now. Mm -hmm. Um, the jacket was also a little tight, which wasn't on for too long, so I don't think they could see that either. So it's like the the, it, the issues were probably just me. But I think it looked good. Like, it yeah. fit with the aesthetic very well. Well, with the jacket, I remember the intention was for you to not take it off. Don't. Like, I remember, like, like when mm -hmm. we were doing, like, the dress rehearsals, like, mm -hmm. at George's place. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was I had the jacket on that entire time. Yeah. Like, I, that's true. I had uh, initially, like, was just like, yeah, you're just going to wear it the whole time. Because I loved the way that it just looked, like, all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just, you asked me, you were just like, can yeah, I, I take this off? And I was like, well, like, it makes sense that he would take it off, mm -hmm. you know? So I, I was just like, yeah, you can take it off when you when you yeah. sit down at the table. Yeah, I think it could have worked either way, but if I definitely had a choice, it would have been off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I could have dealt with the tightness, but it definitely got hot in there sometimes. And that was, that was rough. Yeah, but, it was uh, rough for everybody. We were all just like, I remember the first night, we had food for everybody, mm -hmm. but I think we didn't bring a lot of water. Like we had like the water that was just there, but it was definitely not enough. Yeah. And like, that was like the biggest, like we talked about it like immediately, like after everybody left, like it was like number one thing, like we need beverages, we need water, refreshments, yeah. all that stuff. Cause yeah. you know, 
it was it was pretty fucking rough. Yeah. Like, especially going down into the basement, which we had to shoot twice. We had to shoot that scene twice. Yeah, we were planning for a while. We had to shoot it twice. I think we had to reshoot. Did we have to reshoot something? We had to reshoot. Um, or did we just have to reshoot that shot? We had to reshoot that shot because, like, that first go, like, just was, like... I I was so glad that I was, like, cutting this, like, while we were shooting because I was just, like, this is not good. Yeah. Like, if, the first, the first the first take. Like, yeah. Like, there's, like... Um, like, it was lit differently and, like... It just was... I remember it was, like, bright. It was, like, really bright, and, like, Michael was in the fucking shot. That's right. Oh, I didn't remember that until he said it. I think one was blurry, too, right? Do you have yeah. one? Yeah. Do you have one the shot? Blurry. I think it's in one of... I think it's in the hard drive. I do have the shot. I'll, we'll, yeah, play we'll play... The, we'll play... Roll tape. Well, why would I want to highlight our fucking errors? Well, I mean, I'm if you to... don't have it, just imagine <laughs> yeah. someone, like, they're half their face in them being like, oh, and then backing up. Well, that's basically <laughs> what a it screenshot was. from Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, I just... I remember thinking, like, ah, oh, fuck, that means that we have to go back. Oh, you know what another problem was? I think in that version, like, um... I think there wasn't as much blood, like, on the ground, yeah. too. Yeah. And I just, I remember we just ended up dunking the fucking place with blood. So yeah, because I think, because we, we ended up dragging the bag and hoping the bag, I think, would leak out. Mm -hmm. I think that was the initial yeah, thought. Didn't. Or or just putting, like, a line and then dragging the bag over, and it didn't, like, spread how mm -hmm. we liked, so we had to do it again. Because, like, the bag, there was, like, a pool of blood, but the hole in the bag was too high, and the pool of blood, like, wasn't at the level where it would leak out, so it was just, yeah. like, spurt, spurt, like, a couple oh, yeah. drops of blood on the way. That's not what we were looking for. Also, I remember it. This was a dumb. This was like a dumb idea that made it into the first version. Where like the hand that you had chopped up, oh, like, yeah. it was like it was poking out with the middle finger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Damn, I it forgot just about a that. Goofy ass. <laughs> I remember that. I remember because I think, I think like, it was was it you that was like hold up. And then you reached in, moving around. Because like, I thought it perfect. would be, I thought it was funny, and like we were laughing. Yeah. And like it was like it was like a fun little gag, like while we were shooting, and then like watching it, like with the rest of it, I was just like, what the fuck? Like this is stupid. Yeah, it's so like <laughs> this out is of like, place. It's so out of place, and it's it's like not the moment in, in the movie where you would want like a comedic yeah, beat at all, like, uh -huh. like at all, like, like when you're like raising tension. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, all those led to us shooting again. I think the other, like the final one we ended up with looks great. Yeah. Like if I we had taken shot. any of the others, if the, if the others like worked out to where they didn't need to be reshoot, they probably wouldn't look as good as the, the one we ended up with. Right. I think the one we ended up with worked really well. Like, I flowed so really too. well. I yeah. really like the long shots too. So it, all being a one shot looked really good. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's the shot with my... With you your know. juicy ass, <laughs> <laughs> with but, my with my money maker on. <laughs> but you know, I remember also. This is this is in the movie when you open up the freezer. Mm -hmm. There was a little bit of blood smear. Yeah, that was accidental. That well. was accidental, <laughs> and it looks so good. Mm -hmm. I Beautiful. was I when when you showed me the playback, I was like, holy shit, because like. I th they must have happened seen. like in an earlier it take. It was the one I remember. It was earlier because yeah, I threw before. it on there, and I remember I accidentally brushed the bag up against it. Mm -hmm. I forget who I asked. It. I was like, "Oops, I made that mistake. Is that okay?" And one of you was like, or maybe both of you were like, "On that shot, I kind of turned a, turned the corner a little slower, mm -hmm. so that I was turning it, it, as you were slamming the bag against the freezer. Like I was coming into frame, so that you couldn't see that it was already there. Yeah, you made it look like you just made that. Cause it was mm -hmm. so perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It looked amazing. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. And and Sima, he, you operated camera for like 99% of this because I refuse to do it. I hate doing it. I hate operating camera. <laughs> Incidentally, I love operating camera. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it works, works out. out. <laughs> yeah, it works out perfectly. <laughs> like, I remember, I think I operated, I actually, I operated a couple of shots. Yep. I operated the opening shot, like with the zoom. Yep. Um, we'll then, insert all the shots that Isaiah opt right here. Yeah, <laughs> the I one, did the, the first one. The opening shot. Yeah. And Look then, because I have a couple videos of I literally, like, t turned my camera on and stuck it in the door frame, mm -hmm. like, just around so I could see it, um, the one where you're washing off the, the, the saw blade in the sink. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, you were in the mirror. Mm -hmm. And then looking in the mirror. I was just outside the door for that one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I had to get real close and personal for that one. And there were a couple. There was one instance where you were telling me how to frame this shot, and I just, I, I, it couldn't click in my head. I just handed you the camera, and you did. It. I'm like, all right, that okay. 
Got it. Mm -hmm. But I just couldn't quite get in your mindset. I'm like, here, we're wait like, don't waste time. You just do it. I don't know what it is about operating camera that I hate so much. <laughs> like as like a filmmaker, you know, as <laughs> yeah, like a guy, who, as a guy who like who is a self-proclaimed filmmaker. Like I refuse to no, ever. I don't think you're self-proclaimed at this point. You've made films, so That's, I think you're a filmmaker now. <laughs> your, your checks in the mail. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, don't thank me. Thank trauma. <laughs> thank you. Watch now. Uh, Watch now. Yeah, check it out on trauma now. I don't know trauma um, now. But yeah, uh, I did op a couple of those shots. Um, I think all of the ones that were like on the like tripod, like I was like comfortable. Like I didn't do anything handheld. I think it's because you had to like watch our performance mm -hmm. and like watch the scenery and watch all that. And like doing that while filming is difficult because it, when it's not on the tripod, the tripod, you don't want it to shake or anything. Right. But you know you're you're trying to look at the camera and also look around, and it's just not working yeah. out very well. So you have, you have your scope is much wider. <laughs> I mean. I think that that leads us into an interesting conversation, which is mm -hmm. your performance. Oh. And uh, I'll 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 start with this because this is actually really interesting. This is something that I typically uh, resist a little bit, like mm -hmm. which is when actors write like a backstory, mm -hmm. because like I I don't think there's anything wrong with doing it. I think you know if it helps you, then great. Um, but usually it doesn't really mean anything to me. Yeah, because like. If it was like if it was that important, like it would be in the movie. Yeah. However, when you wrote that three-page story, uh -huh. I read it and it literally led directly into where the movie begins. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do because I, I I liked your like your idea of the film. Obviously, like I thought I read it and I thought it was all good. There was like nothing I was like, wow, this is awful. Like it all was really good. And so I was just like, you know what, just to get me, to help me in the mindset, and maybe help, like, George or something, if he, you know, needed to get me to know my character, or maybe if you want to know the backstory, I was like, you know what, I'll just write a little backstory. And I was like, if he doesn't like it, then he doesn't like it. It helps me get in the mindset, you know, kind of just get into the role a little bit. And so I was just, one day, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to type it out. So I typed it all out, kept looking back on it, and being like, oh, this is what's going to end up happening, so I'll make it that way and whatnot. And it ended up being, like, three pages. Yeah. Straight up, just three pages of, like, a backstory of this crazy, psychotic person doing crazy psychotic things when he's younger yeah <laughs> up to his young adult era <laughs> yeah i mean but it was great i remember i immediately sent it to sema and i was just like check this shit out <laughs> was awesome. like, look at this guy yeah i was trying you know i was getting into it i was trying to get into it and you know like it, it definitely included his psychotic his specific psychotic tendencies and where they came from and that kind of stuff and i don't know if i still have it I think I have it somewhere. Yeah, so we'll just keep that between us, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's, that's something I want to that's cherish. Fine. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. fine by me. But yeah, uh, Maybe we'll publish it who knows? Uh, through uh, HarperCollins' Egregious Intent uh, yeah. publications. It'll, it'll be like some, like, <laughs> maybe we could splice it up into, like, diary entries and be like... That actually could be pretty cool. Yeah. And maybe we will do that. Some behind-the-scenes, like, this was his past kind of deal. Because who knows? Maybe someone might want to know something about his past. Yeah. Maybe both of them's past. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, the nature of the format of the short film is kind of like, you know, you're under a little bit more of a time crunch than you normally would be with yeah. like a movie and, or like with a TV series, of yeah. course. Yeah, you don't have time to go through all the backstories of everybody or specifics or anything like that. Yeah, but like, you know, I think when I, when I read your backstory, I was just like, oh, that's such an interesting... Like, it's like it makes perfect I'm glad sense. you thought that way because I, I was hoping you wouldn't hate it. Well, I thought about firing you because of oh, just shit. because you did oh, it. No, I knew it. <laughs> you kind of are overstepping a little bit, but you know what are you gonna do? <laughs> well, I'm glad I kept my job. But you know, one of the things that kind of drew me in, you know, like back when we were working together mm -hmm. in the deli, oh, ye old Publix. <laughs> working together in the deli yeah i mean i remember you know because when i had written the script i was like okay he's got this ted bundy-esque attractiveness mm -hmm. he's a very normal guy i remember i didn't like that at first you didn't like it i was well because i was I, I wasn't i was my brain went straight towards he thinks i'm an actual psychopath rather than looks good like ted bunny was rumored to look 
And so I was like, why wow, this guy thinks I look like a psychopath? But in the end, it's just like, no, he just thinks I look like I could attract women to their deaths. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, hey. That, that was kind of Ted Bundy's thing was, yeah. oh, no, he's just a normal guy. He's yeah, just he's a, an, you know, good he's a normal guy. He doesn't look like a psychopath. That's yeah. the point. He yeah. looks so handsome, and then they die. And it's like, oh, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, once I thought of it from that perspective, I'm like, you know, I'll take the compliment. <laughs> What was it like diving into that into that zone? Because like when it, the movie picks up, yeah, it were... took a, it took a bit. Not gonna lie, like I think George went into his role really quickly. Like I think he fit into that really quickly. But like for me, I know for me personally, it took a couple shoots. I think for me to fully get into it. Luckily enough, the first few shoots for me being normal. Yeah. So like at the last few shoots, when I really got into the role, I was like, you know, what I think I can do the psychopath thing. Yeah. <laughs> so then I started kind of going with it, you know, and. You know, I remember asking you a few questions of like, can I do this? Can I do that? Or like, uh, just like things that like psychopathic things I can do. And you, you basically just give me free reign. So I was like, you know what? If I feel the psychopathic tendencies coming up, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take them in. Yeah. <laughs> so started doing it because I know like me like laughing a whole lot was not initially in the script, or at least not a big D, a big thing. Hmm. And you know, and I was just like, you know, what if I just start laughing crazy, kind of like the almost like the Joker a little bit, kind of just laughing. And I was yeah. like, you know, I'll try it out, and it turned out pretty well. So, you know, and I was like, you know, what? I can, I can really delve into this character and yeah. be crazy. So once he snaps, I'm like, all right, I got this. <laughs> yeah, like I I remember that so vividly because in the rehearsals, we kind of just we kind of took it easy. Um, yeah, we, we the first round. Of rehearsal we read the script verbatim yeah mm -hmm. and then we did it again and it was like okay this time we'll put the scripts down mm -hmm. you know we have the, the the outline of like this is like the sequence of events yeah. and then you guys just play and you and George came up with all kinds of wacky stuff but the yeah. laugh didn't happen in the it, rehearsals. yeah it didn't happen that's what it didn't happen for a while I think like yeah. we were on set and I was just like I've been kind of laughing a little bit every now and then lately yeah. so what if we just do a shot and laugh and you're just like yeah we'll try it out mm. and then but it turned out pretty good <laughs> that was actually during uh oh, fuck. it was um it wasn't i don't think i operated this one i think i, I had operated a different take from like it was the same take but like different angle mm -hmm. of you doing the laugh and that was like the first time i heard it i don't know if that angle is in the movie or not because no, I think um, we, we redid that shot, I think. Yeah, I think... Because the one that's in the movie is, like, a lot closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I remember I had a wider angle, and this was one that I was operating. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time that I heard you really, like, bust out the laugh. Yeah. And, you know, we're rolling, and all of a sudden you start to you start to get into your, into your thing. Mm -hmm. And then the laugh comes up. And I remember I, like, looked, like, from behind the camera, and I was just like, what the... <laughs> like he was like, this guy's he, actually insane. <laughs> I was like, he's pulling me like right in, and like I go cut, and it's just like, whoa. Yeah. The, the, and definitely the second one turned out better because I remember I think the first one was when it was just me. Yeah. So George wasn't there, so I had to do all my lines like basically looking at like the tennis ball like you see in like, the yeah. films and stuff. So like it wasn't as easy and my, I know my gaze was kind of going kind of all over the place but the other time George was actually there yeah. and I could see in his eyes mm. the fear in his eyes yeah. <laughs> no he was having a fun he was he was probably like laughing on the other side like man this guy's actually insane yeah but uh yeah that was that was pretty fun though because I remember like right after that shot is when pretty much just every shot was like snapped like my yeah. I was snapped mm. so I was just I was just able to go kind of off however I wanted to yeah so that was cool I mean I remember uh I mean, it's funny that you bring it up because there was a day, I think it was the second or third day of shooting. Mm -hmm. We shot for six days. Um, and we we got this call from George. His car had broken down. He wasn't going to be able to make yeah, it. Yeah, so he wasn't able to make it. And we were shooting like your your dialogue that day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, fuck, like, we, are, we can't shoot anything really else. Yeah. So let's just get all of Everett's like <laughs> angles. Uh-huh. And we'll just have him, just, you know, just kind of act to yeah. nobody. I remember for a few shots, you were, like, sitting on the other side, like, reading George's line so I could get into it. Because I know, I, like, at, at one point I said, it's kind of hard to have, like, a conversation when the other person isn't there, unfortunately. Yeah. So I was like, you know, 
but you ended up sitting on the other side kind of reading some lines from him which helped a lot yeah but I, like we had to work around it most of the like final edit like of your con your back and forth conversation are like days apart yeah <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> which is, yeah i was which hoping because really i was trying to keep my hair kind of the same length slash cut and i didn't want to get a haircut and stuff so you know i, I was hoping that the the whatever i was doing with my hair was the same as the previous time we shot and whatnot and I, never, I think it looked pretty okay. I never noticed. Yeah. yeah. So, I think it turned out pretty good. But yeah, there was... My shots are definitely all over the place. Kind of mm. different days and stuff. But that's the the magic of filmmaking. Yeah. That you can't really tell too much. They all look the same. Yeah. Movie magic. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Windows Movie Maker works wonders. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. So, walk me through... Mm-hmm your perspective of the first day of shooting what was that day for you Uh, a lot of introductions meeting people uh kind of getting a feel for the cast and the crew and who's me working i I think i met almost everybody before Mm. so it wasn't like too bad but it was like getting in that shooting feel you know so there was that right at the beginning and then kind of because i'm a i'm a very shy slash introverted kind of person so you know i think that's why it took me a while to get into the psychotic thing because i didn't want to like scare people not giving myself that much credit but you know i think before a few shots i had to tell people like hey i'm gonna be kind of insane here sorry if that like kind of freaks you out i'm just gonna do the thing um so the first day i was kind of like trying not to freak people out even though it wasn't like anything crazy so but it was it was definitely fun getting into the role for the first time and kind of feeling it out and and getting in this psychotic person's day day in the life of this psycho uh but luckily enough the first few shots the first day was pretty much just me alone so i didn't have to like talk to people so i didn't get all my nervous twitches in my voice then so i got those out for the next few shoots uh but it was a lot of fun so i had a lot of fun finding the place wasn't as fun Right. But I remember I went to the front of the place first, and then you're like, no, come to the back. And I was like, oh, shit. I'll and be there like in a minute. A whole, it's like on a whole other street. Yeah. yeah. I, was, yeah. Uh, so I was like, oh, shoot. I was coming in the back way the first time I ever went there, and I pulled onto a highway, oh, which God. is directly parallel to the road you're supposed to turn onto. It's like, yeah, turn left, diagonally 45 degrees. I'm like, okay, up here. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like parked behind a like scoop truck. Yeah. Like a, like a like a dump truck like, like a dump truck dump of truck. sorts with the I'll put a picture of it, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck but um I'm, I, and I then I'm like wait a about. second like I'm on an on ramp of a highway that isn't built yet so I backed my way up <laughs> oh yeah that's one that's and then back too. onto the road and then I went around the corner parked there I'm sweating like my back is sweating it's super hot and then I, I walk up and then it's like you will be towed do not park here I'm like <laughs> so I moved I went around the, it's, that place is it's a maze. It's, it's a maze getting yeah, there. It's... Like I, that was a, like I. I remember every day, like if it, whether it was crew or cast, like somebody would call me, like mm-hmm. how the fuck do I find this place? And yeah, it's such the a person bringing the food one day spot. got so lost. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> he got so lost that he like t- didn't he like message you saying can't find it going back. <laughs> something, or something like something that. like that happened. And we're like, absurd. we're like, bro, we could have stood outside or something. Yeah, that was. I yeah, just, I went on the debacle. Maps app. I typed in Wellborn, clicked copy, put it in the Pizza Hut address, and then he, like, forty five minutes later, it's like not there. We're like, what the hell's going on? He mm-hmm. he texted us, c- couldn't find it, went back, and then we looked at the address, and the address wasn't the Wellborn. It was across the street from the Wellborn in the middle of a lake. Oh, yeah. And it's like, how the hell did this address even get copied? Yeah. How, did the, like, how was that even an address? I typed in the Wellborn, like, yeah. and I caught, because it was south instead of north. Like, let's say, north Lucerne Circle, it was One south Lucerne Circle. Lake, I, I which remember, happens to be in the middle of a lake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you see, I remember, because that was the night that we were doing the gun stuff. Yeah. That was the night that we were doing the squibs. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. And we were getting everything ready to go. We were we all had, annoyed because we, we were hungry. We, everybody was hungry. We were like trying to get this perfect because mm-hmm. we had one one take, take mm-hmm. to get every single angle of the squib. Mm-hmm. Because the moment, because we didn't have 
like your costume, beautiful as it was, there was only one <laughs> laying there at one. Goodwill. So once it got messed up, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, and we had to secure the location. So we had to make sure that everything was taped off. Everything was yeah, like and a tarps. The, and stuff. Yeah, we had tarps everywhere. We had to make mm-hmm. sure that we weren't going to get blood all over the place. Yeah, that would have been bad. And you know, all of a sudden. I'm like, where's the fucking food? <laughs> and they just never, they just gave up and, and yeah. that was it. We had so to get like a to... refund or something too, didn't we? Like, didn't he say he gave it to someone? We're like, we don't have it. <laughs> yeah. Like we, I don't, I remember I was so pissed about it. I was just, I don't remember who I tasked with dealing with it. I was just like, I think I ended up calling. Yeah, I do. Rem- I remember I was like, because oh, yeah, I walked out in that costume and I was like, people probably think I'm weird because yeah. I'm walking outside with all these people like partying and stuff. And I'm just out here in my weird 70s yellow and brown uniform like yeah give me my pizza dude (laughs) (laughs) give me thine pizza gracias (laughs) and that was that was a fun time boy oh boy but yeah those those shots were fun though because you know we had to basically walk through everything that was going to happen twenty thousand times and only shoot it once (laughs) that was that was the that was the rough ones and then you know the ones that we're sitting there talking that look like they're only take a couple of shots took like 20,000 shots so mm-hmm. yeah, that was that was a fun time it's weird the way that that kind of works out because mm-hmm. like you would think the hardest shot to get would be the squib stuff like yeah. the, the gunshots mm-hmm. and you know we got those in one one take and yeah. then we would move on and they all turned out pretty good and I'd say the uh, easily the, I, I know for a fact the shot that took the most takes was the shot of George opening the doors mm-hmm. and walking in like while the girls are sitting down playing the board game. Yeah, because you two were dual wielding the camera. Yeah, <laughs> God. I don't know. Keep in mind, we shot this for like nine hundred dollars. Very cheap. Like most of it went to the, the, food, the food, as typically does. We're all fat ass. I didn't have a wireless follow focus system at the time, so it was all in camera, and it was a zoom. We had to focus. We had to pull focus right from the lens by hand. So I was doing the zoom. Sima was doing the focus, and we had to try to like match our timing yeah. perfectly. Mm-hmm. Can I vent for a moment? Please do. Go ahead. About inconsistent focus wheels. I don't know <laughs> why they exist. I will create a diagram to show you, the viewer, just how frustrating it was. Position A is mark one. Position B is mark two. We need to just cleanly go from one to two. A to B should be simple enough. It depends on how fast you turn the focus wheel it changes every single time and no matter how clean you think you're doing it it's different from take to take so it was literally luck like it should well with the equipment we have now there is a clean a to b and it's consistent and you can just mark it off in your brain this notch to this notch easy as pie that damn camera (laughs) and its focus wheel just every single time you're literally just guessing you you can't there's no way of getting <laughs> all right, that's all. That's the. Re- I'm not gonna speak for the Thank rest you of the for, podcast. Uh, coming to our TED talk, but no, yeah, that, I I wasn't in that shot, but I was sitting in the background and I was like, man, this is taking a lot of shots. And then I, once I realized what you guys were having to do, I was like, no wonder it's taking a lot of. Time. Oh, you this know is, what also awful. sucked? This is so embarrassing. I'm gonna embar- I'm gonna I'm gonna admit it. <laughs> so. Oh no. <laughs> take seven. I don't remember. Okay. We had done a couple takes of this shot. All of a sudden, I hear like a bing, like a like a cell phone goes off. <laughs> And I was just like, whose fucking cell phone is that? <laughs> and it was mine. <laughs> I forgot to turn my ringer off. I put the ringer on to know when the food was when getting. The pizza was getting there. Yeah. So, <laughs> the bing, I'm like, fuck! <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Who dares make noise on my set? Oh, wait, it's me. <laughs> and I pull my phone out and I'm like, uh, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize to everyone. Oh, I'm sorry. Food will be here in 10 minutes. Yeah, like a Christian Bale, like crazy meltdown. Yeah, it's like, oh, wait, it's food. me. Yeah. The food will be in the lake in 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs> I dropped shit. it off. The gator at the edge said thank you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you didn't pay me. You bit my hands. <laughs> I mean, we haven't even you talked didn't give, about give me a tip, he's an asshole. Yeah. We haven't even talked about the worst. My my meltdown. My, my true meltdown. It wasn't a meltdown like I went off on anybody, but this was when I finally was starting to break. Ooh. And this was the night. We were shooting dialogue between you and George. Mm-hmm. We break for lunch. Mm-hmm. I think we had Chinese food that night. It was delicious. It was pretty good. And then we go back in to shoot. We start rolling. 
We're going through a couple takes, and there is this sound. Oh, I remember this. Okay. There is this sound that I cannot trace where this sound is coming from, and it is fucking up all of our audio. And I'm looking around the room. I'm thinking, is it the AC? Mm-hmm. Is it the lights, maybe? And I'm listening, and all of a sudden, it's starting to kind of go like... Yeah, it would start at random and then yeah. pick up at random. We're just like, what the hell is this? Like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, in my head, I, I, I have an idea of what, what this is. Mm-hmm. So I go outside, right in, right in the back where this, where this highway overpass is. And right outside, on the overpass, they are doing the loudest construction. Yeah, like a jackhammer going yeah, on this multiple crap. Multiple jackhammers. Oh dropping concrete off the highway onto the floor beneath. Yeah. Like, absurd. And I remember this was like... Trucks, generators. This is the moment... could be. I was like, this This movie is this movie's cursed. Yeah. <laughs> Something could always happen. Because it's just like... It was like setback after setback after setback. We had to shoot all your coverage of just your dialogue the night before we finally had George back mm-hmm. we were trying to get through his and then this starts happening yeah and then I was trying to, to like think cut of, it short I was trying to think of a solution I was like I don't know what else we can even shoot because we were not messing with the audio for a while yeah we were trying to think is there a way we can record this without there being a problem and then there was at one point you and I talked about maybe we dub it if it's that bad mm-hmm. and then I was just because then it's like a whole other thing we're gonna have to do we were already gonna have to dub certain things but like to dub and sync like full sequences of dialogue God. would yeah. have been the worst especially if he was like in the shot you yeah, like exactly. magical lips that would have just been exactly awful. that would have been insane so I was I literally I thought about it for like 60 seconds and then I was just like alright we're gonna have to shut it down mm-hmm. there's literally nothing we can do about it mm-hmm. so and in that 60 seconds I thought to myself this is the lowest point I need to get a photograph or two and I didn't show you that I had a picture of that moment for like months yeah. but it is historic uh, oh. documentation oh, that is necessary that yeah. as behind the scenes yeah I mean you know it's not always it's not always sunshine and rainbows mm-hmm. that's right folks like sometimes uh, there is construction happening right behind you and they're dropping concrete blocks uh, yeah, and, and 60 feet to I don't the like we were looking for that sound for probably 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, just, we were searching and everywhere. And I was like, oh, it's fine. We can just, it's, it's okay. Like, you're like, no. Yeah, then, then I not. think, like, you listen to the audio. Yeah. And it's shit. like, no, you can yeah. clearly no. hear yeah, banging in the background. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> we, we did you can't low pass tape. it. You can't high pass it. Yeah. It was just like. Yeah. It was just like, it was just in the audio. Yeah. And there wasn't anything we could do about it. No. So, and then I, the last, like, however many, like, two minutes of, like, on-screen take time was, like, no good. Past, yeah, like, hour. Was in there. It's like, Next, it took a little bit to hear it, too. Yeah. yeah that was not fun. That was... Yeah. That was easily the lowest point. Like, mm-hmm. for... At least for me. Because yeah. we had to quit yeah. for the night. Yeah. But... And we we only intended like, for, what, four days? We were, we were defeated. Yeah, well, what was funny is, like... So we had to expand. We scheduled... Well, my dumbass thought we could shoot this in three nights. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Because I was like, yeah, this is easy. We do all the setup in the basement, in the bathroom. We do all those shots night one. Night two, we do all the dialogue that leads to the shootout. And night three, we do the shootout. Mm -hmm. But because of uh, the Wellborn schedule, they only gave us a couple hours each night. Yeah. And there were a couple of times. And, you know, God bless Benjamin Coots and Heather McMahon over at the Wellborn. I don't think Ben's there anymore, but Ben, I love you. Um, I had to ask them a couple times, like, I need another night. I need another night. And it had gone to a point where there was, like, a gap between the nights like a month yeah, yeah there was there was yeah. a bit in between that's that's where my i was worried about my hair because <laughs> i was like i kind of need a haircut but i don't <laughs> i shouldn't get a haircut and i was like i don't know what to do yeah yeah so but, when we got back into it that was when we did the it was the last two nights and that was the shootout and um <laughs> the end of the, the end of the movie yeah and the, like i that gave me more time to perfect the squibs because like we had you come down mm-hmm. and do a couple of tests with us yeah that was fun um and then, you know, we just kept preparing and preparing and preparing. Yeah. And it just... It, I felt like 
during that month long gap, like I had, I had already started to cut together what we had and I was like, it just feels so hollow because like it just ends like right when you open fire. Yeah. Like at that point, cause we hadn't mm-hmm. shot the rest of it. So it, yeah. literally the last shot is you like, and then, yeah. and then it ends. <laughs> <laughs> End of movie done. End of movie. Make up the rest on your own folks. Yeah. And I was just like, I was so down about it. I was like, I just want to shoot this part so bad. Cause like this is like what it was all coming to. Like I wanted to do this oh, fucking yeah. this fucking shootout. Yeah, the shootout was. We were all looking forward to that. Cool it was gonna be fun. Yeah. And it was it was a lot of fun to do. Like oh, yeah. the last night of shooting was my favorite night. Oh yeah, ever. I enjoyed that a lot. That was so much fun. The last shot in particular I didn't like, but the rest of it was good. We'll get to that in a minute. But. Well, we can, I mean we can talk about it because obviously you know your character is a cannibal. But yeah. he, he likes to bake his people, yummy, yummy into, people. into these uh, delicious sweets mm-hmm. uh, for for himself and others to enjoy. Yeah. And, you know, like the big twist reveal is the cinnamon roll that, that Detective Bradbury's been eating the whole time. It wow. contains mm-hmm. uh, the remains of, of, your, of your wife. The I love, my lovely for. wife. <laughs> she and, tastes so sweet. And uh, <laughs> uh, when it came down to the... Because we had... Um, like a cinnamon roll that was just an actual cinnamon roll that's like an edible like and then mm-hmm. we had a stunt roll yeah where oh we yeah would put <laughs> mm-hmm. fake blood and and fingers and shit in there yeah shouldn't shouldn't eat it yeah that one was like but do not eat one mm-hmm. and then we had the one that you can't eat mm-hmm. so on the last night um you had your your roll that you have to like bite into mm-hmm and it was made of the cinnamon roll and strawberry preserves. Oh yeah. And I don't. I think like one other thing. I it had it had the, like the the blood stuff in there, to where I shouldn't swallow the fake blood. The fake blood. Did we yeah. put fake blood in it? Mm-hmm. At least on the side of my mouth. Oh or I think yeah, it was like on my did. finger yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Just in the corner of your mouth. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that. Maybe yeah. Your teeth but I was still worried to swallow because I didn't want to eat any of it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And I also, it didn't taste good, so I wouldn't have swallowed it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you, man. We didn't put raw. We didn't put meat, ground beef, and not in the not in that one. one. No, that one. That one was just in the head. It was relatively edible. It was safe to have it in your mouth, but yeah, not yeah, to that exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you take it's, the bite, you chew it a bit, and then you smile. It kind of yeah, most of it kind oozes of out of you oh, yeah. to eat. Yeah, that was. But, I was so ready for and that shot. Right, to be over. Cut. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! The second that camera came off, like the second that little circle goes in, it's just bleh. Yeah. I spit it out immediately. Because yeah. I, I think we we were setting it up, and I was like, "All right, we ready to start?" And you're like, "Yeah, you can start basically shoving the preserves in your mouth." And I was like, "All right, I'll start shoving the shit in my mouth." And I was like, "It's strawberry preserves. It can't taste that bad." Getting just strawberry preserves and stuffing your face full, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> it's like putting like a mouthful of mayonnaise in your mouth. It doesn't taste It tastes good on stuff, but it doesn't taste good by itself. So I'm shoving this stuff in my mouth, and by like the second or third shove, I'm just like, I don't like this at all. <laughs> like at all, at all. And I was like, can we start this? And I, I don't think something was holding us up. I think we were just setting up the shot or something like that. And I was like, I, we, we need, let, let's hurry this up a little bit. I don't like this. And I had to like keep it in my mouth because I wanted to squeeze it out at the end. So when I took the bite, it was just like a mouth, like chipmunk cheeks full of stuff. And I was like, mm, and I squeeze it out. And then you're like, all right, cut. And I was like, <laughs> I immediately was... just was like, I'm going to spit. I don't care where this goes. I'm spitting it out. <laughs> Tarp right under you, luckily. Yeah, I was um, like, but done. That was the last shot? Mm. That was the very last shot. I believe that was shot. the last shot we shot, yeah. Because yeah. after that, you were like, all right, wraps up and everyone's celebrating. I'm like, I need to wash my yeah. body. <laughs> You're just sitting there on, on your knees on the floor. I like, was like sticky uh, all over. Uh, everyone, everyone's like cheering. I'm like, I need Please to get help. this off. <laughs> I need yeah. to clean. Poison on my teeth. But I thought, you know, honestly, like, I thought like I was like, I was helping you out. Like I was like, because I don't want to put anything gross in there. I figure maybe if I put something that's like also sweet. Oh no, it, it was it was much better that because I mean, worst case, I swallow it and it just tastes bad, you know. Yeah. Rather than oh, I swallow it and now I have to like make myself puke because I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, and the are taking you to the hospital. Yeah, so awesome. I was, so you know, it's definitely it's definitely better. Like it's it's me personally. I just didn't like the whole having that much preserves jam whatever you want to call it in my mouth i didn't like that but it definitely could have been worse like you could have put only fake blood and then it's like all right have fun do yeah not now swallow do this. not swallow if you swallow it you're going to die you know? yeah. so that would have been like oh shit 
um, then I definitely would have been like, clean me now. But We only put a, a very little bit of poison in your mouth. Yeah. It was just on the corner, you know, it's fine. Yeah. And there was some on my, like, my fingers, so, like yeah. when I wiped my mouth, it got on there. So, you know, it was it was safe. It, it just, nice I touch. didn't, I personally did not like it. It made me squeamish. Yeah. But it definitely looked really good. Turned out really good. And acting, I can baby. look back on it and be like, good times. Even though in the moment, I was like, I wish I was dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it definitely turned out very well. That was probably one of my least favorite shots to shoot, but to, to see, it turned out really well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, That's a good one. We got a physical reaction from the crowd for that one at the at the premiere. Yeah. <laughs> there were a couple... Uh, I think there's a couple people going, Audible like, reaction. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, especially like the reverse shot of, of you dipping it into, that into was George's heavy. skull. Yeah. We shot that a few oh, times, I remember, yeah, because I did that little pause and then brought it in, and you guys were like, it's great, and then and I saw it, and I was like, you can really see it, and I was like, oh, that looks good. Skylar did a great job with the head, mm, it's like yeah, it looked yeah. legit. I was worried about, like, picking up part of it, and then you get to see, like, the white mannequin or whatever, but it turned out really well. Yeah, so I was like, she fucking killed it. Yeah, she did really good with the, the special effects stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have her on in the... One of these episodes. Actually, she can talk about all that. She's gonna dive in. Like I, I wouldn't really even know like what to say. Like yeah, she, like, she on a technical level. She so just like, went off. off on that. You you told her to do stuff, and she's like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah. Kind of same with George. Like you were just like, hey, you're playing this character, and he's like, balling, and he just went and did it, and it's like, all right, dope. Well, that 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 opens us up to being able to talk about uh, working with everybody, and mm -hmm. what was it like uh, acting opposite George? It was, I liked it a lot. George is a very charismatic person and he's very good like he said he hasn't acted before but I don't know he's, he, he really went like I said he, like I said before he went into his role really quickly like he absorbed it made it his own like that like really quickly and, and it took me a little bit but sitting with him and working with him it like it helped me be better at being a psychopath <laughs> because yeah. he was so good at his role and I was like man I gotta I gotta step it up if I'm gonna be second to this guy uh, but he, he worked really well. Uh, it was really nice to work with him. Uh, and like the one day I wasn't there, I felt like a lost puppy. I was like, oh no, my counterpart's not here. Mm -hmm. I can't like shoot off lines off him and whatnot. Cause like even after, before shooting, after shooting in between, we would sometimes bounce lines off of each other and be like, hey, let's work on this a little bit. And he'd always be down and be like, yeah, I'm down to do this. And it was really cool. You know, he let us use his house to do the, mm -hmm. the, the mock shoots or whatever, the, whatever you want to call it before. So that was really nice. Uh, Working with you guys was really good. You gave us you gave us good direction, Isaiah. Uh, Seema, you did really well with the shots. Thank you. Uh, getting good angles on there because you know some shots that I was like, I don't know how this is gonna look, and you got the right angle, and I was like, oh, it's perfect. And you know you giving us direction, Isaiah, and telling us what what to do better, what we could do better, how to do this, how to change that. Uh, helped a lot. Um, you know the girls with their stuff. Um, they actually did audible reactions for pretty much everything, even if it wasn't in the actual movie. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. Um, Poor Maddie. There, there are so many like we had to make her scream so many times. Yeah, yeah. that's that's yeah. And that's why I felt bad because there was a few shots where I had to look her in the eye like a psychopath, and I was that was those were the few shots I was like, hey, I'm gonna be kind of insane here just to warn you. And she was always like, yeah, that's fine, that's perfectly fine. And I'm just like, I know, but I, you know, I'm not actually insane. Good just to, just to preface that. Mm -hmm. um, but you know she worked fine like even when i was doing it again when she was not in the shot she was looking she did her terrified face on and stuff and it helped me a lot so that was cool yeah um but yeah working with everyone was really cool it was really nice everyone had good ideas when they brought up ideas and they were like bouncing them off each other every now and then so it was really cool it was really cool working with them i know i made a finger once yeah i don't know if that yeah. was actually in the cinnamon yeah, roll i've got pictures of them yeah. but so we'll we'll put that up too. yeah so hey yeah. there you go i don't know which one's my Everybody, finger which one's not but making fingers we all got some in pick there. pick the worst cool. one of the bunch and that one's probably mine <laughs> but you know it was pretty cool doing that stuff and it was really cool being a part of this whole project and working with everybody so there was there's really nothing i can say that was bad about the crew or cast or working with them at all mm -hmm. it was all really fun well, there's, uh, there's this one little note here I have that I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. But before I ask you that, I had another one that popped into my head. Oh, go ahead. Because um, at the premiere, mm -hmm. you were there. Your family was there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to really talk to them too much. Mm -hmm. What did they think? Well, I prefaced it with... Because I was trying not to hide. I was trying to hide it as much as possible. Um, so I was trying to like not tell them what was going on, what was happening. At one point, I like pointed at the cinema rolls that were on the table and I didn't say anything I was just like oh, those look like good cinnamon rolls 
you want one? <laughs> I was trying to get people to eat them. So then, like, at the end, they'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> um, but uh, a few people ate them. That was, that was good. But, uh, yeah, I, I prefaced it with them being like, hey, just so you know, I get a little bit crazy in this film. You know, I don't want you to get kind of, you know, I don't want your view of me to change. I don't want you to love me less. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, I, but they, they all liked it. Um, they all came out saying it was a great, like, job from everybody. They liked my performance. Um, they liked everyone's performances. They said it looked really good. They said it looked professional. They, they, I, I think my stepfather was one that came in and he was like, uh, I came in expecting it to be kind of low budget, but he came out saying that looked like triple A kind of level. And I was like, oh, damn. That's it. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the editors and, and filmers for making my talking look good. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, they all loved it. They all liked it. Um, I know my mom constantly kept telling me, when is it coming out? When is it coming out? She wanted to watch it, and now it's finally out, and I can be like, hey, check it out. You can check it out now. Yeah. Um, Where can we check it out? Uh, Trauma Now. 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 Watch it. Watch, um, watch Dr. Now. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was really cool. The whole premiere setup was really cool. You had all like the snacks and stuff in there. And you know, if you were in on it, you can kind of tell why the cinema rolls were being hailed almost. Yeah. So yep. uh, it was a shrine of sorts. It was. Yeah, there was like yeah. a shrine place with candles and. Oh yeah. It yeah. was. It was legit. I mean, that premiere was that was such a that was such a treat, um, and that's a mm-hmm. huge, huge, huge shout out to Marcus Roundtree and the the Downtown Arts Collective for having us that night, and and we 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 sold out and then some. That was yeah. that was such a great night, and that was really it was cool. it was just a lot of fun. Yeah, that that place was full. It was really yeah. Every seat was taken. I was like, wow, impressive. Yeah, we ended up having to open up like. Um, a couple more tickets because like more people were coming it was it was really fun nice and uh it was it was cool uh because Seema and I hung back like while it was playing yeah like we um (laughs) just like judging people's reactions yeah we were just kind of like just watching I was Mm -hmm. next to your dad who was filming the video so I kind of got that (laughs) kind of that angle where were you I was next to you okay we were all yeah that's right yeah, like I remember, like I had to. I remember I I hate I hate public speaking. <laughs> like I hate I hate doing it. Yeah. But I remember like the night before I was like I was so nervous that I had to go up and talk to all these people, introduce it, and blah blah blah. And then uh, when it was happening, I remember like thinking, like this is so impersonal, because it's just like a bunch of people standing in front of you and i'm not really talking to any one person in particular yeah that kind of looking at their heads at the top of their heads yeah like it was just like it was just fun yeah because like i'm not like it it felt like all it was like it was almost like i was by myself yeah you know you didn't seem nervous to me well i was surprised i was surprised that like i wasn't like stuttering and like (laughs) stumbling my way through it (laughs) no you you did great and then after you know you called this all up then i got all nervous because i was like I think I was what like the second one up or something like that, and I yeah. was like, uh, "I got to sit here this entire time. I don't know what to do with my hands." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how far apart do we stand? Yeah, do we leave room for another person. Yeah, to come like, up? Uh, oh god. But yeah, it was, but it was cool. I, I really liked the premiere. It was really cool seeing it up on like a bigger screen, seeing it fully completed. So I know I kept. I, you sent us little tidbits, I think, but I I don't think you ever sent the whole thing. And if you did, I did I did not watch it. So I was like, I want to see this whole thing all in motion, all at once. Because we've been getting like little checkups just to be like, hey, look, this is how it films. This is what we might have to reshoot, blah blah blah. But uh, I never saw the whole thing together. And seeing the whole thing together was like, wow, these whole six days were wholly worth it to see this finished product, and it looks really nice. So, and everything turned out really good, despite like all the behind the scenes drama and all the construction and everything life that happened it turned out really really well so yeah. I liked it a lot uh, and I could kind of feel my struggles through some of those shots in, like, in my own head and whatnot. I remember seeing that last one everyone who with a few people who were like eh, I remember looking being like oh, remembering the taste and just being like oh, <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah. but yeah, it was really cool to see it all up in there and see all these people and everyone like clap and love it and stuff. It was really nice. Yeah, it was so. a lot of fun. Really like a, like a hallmark moment. Yeah, like a surreal 
Yeah. Like, wow, this is this is real. Yeah, man. <laughs> we didn't just waste six days. This is actually <laughs> legit. This is a real thing that happened. Yeah. Um, well, I I want to ask you this question because mm-hmm. um, we know your least favorite scene yeah. to shoot. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, what was your favorite scene to shoot, and what was your favorite scene to watch? Hmm. And are they the same? And Seema, I'll ask you this question too. Hmm. I'd say my favorite scene to shoot would probably be my second favorite. And my favorite scene to shoot would probably be the uh, the one where George is already in the bathroom. And like we have the split thing. Even though that was really cool to see. Um, but like me walking back and forth like limping and stuff. I don't know, I'd like practiced a limp before. And like practiced falling and all that stuff too. But uh, that was really fun because it was like a longer shot. And me just going off the wall screaming and walking back and like laughing and saying I'd eat many and then running back and all that stuff and that's after and then after that the shoot me getting shot happened but uh that was probably my favorite thing to shoot just because I got to go completely nuts and kind of just limp however uh and I know we shoot shot it a few times and each time I kind of bumped it up a little bit um but that was that was definitely my favorite because of just how crazy it was and then probably my favorite to see on the film watch uh, that one would probably be the uh, well, I don't know how to describe it is when I was like on my knee after I just got shot in the leg mm-hmm. and George was running past because uh, that one was pretty funny mm-hmm. <laughs> he threw it and, it, and it, I, it, it hit me I believe it hit me like right under my face which is supposed to hit my face but it looked like it hit my face and the added and then, sound effect kind of added it made it yeah, look like it and then him like Ugh. running and you could see like the like on his face he had like that True legitimate pain. like it, he didn't look like George he looked like Bradbury he looked like he was pissed at this dude and he wanted to kill him and he wanted to help the one girl who was still alive actually no I think they're both still alive at the time um like you could you could see he's looking at me with like pure disgust and I'm like I love it yeah. <laughs> and then I look up like with the same pretty much the same like I want to kill this guy but also with the added effect of I also want to eat him because he looks kind of tasty um <laughs> But uh, that was definitely my favorite one to watch, just because it was like you could see the emotions in the face yeah. and kind of the little bit of comedy that was in there. Mm. That was my favorite. So for those reasons that I see it. <laughs> what about you, Michael? Yeah. Um, favorite to shoot is between when the slow mo sequence where you guys are first meeting up in the parking lot, mm-hmm. and then he takes your bag and they go. Or you take his bag and you guys are walking inside. Oh and yeah, and it turns. I decide to start slowly just dushing the camera, tur- turning it to the side, and you literally were like, "Oh, you motherfucker!" <laughs> like behind me, because <laughs> there's no audio in this shot. So you're like, "Oh, all right, I see what you're doing." Um, yeah, that, looks so that really was good. cool. I, I, I liked that, and I liked the way it looked. Um, but unfortunately, it had to. The, sh- the shot had to get dumbed down a little bit and zoomed in a bit because you could see our shadows. Yes, I remember Me and Isaiah's that. shadow yeah. in the bottom edge of the frame, so it had to get a little bit, you know, cropped in, which is unfortunate. But um, either that or the shot, the, the, the long shot where we follow him in, we follow George in, Detective Bradbury, and he walks up to the table. And uh, I'm actually... We, we got a track. We rented a $15,000 yes. track with a, with a dolly on it. That's where all the money went. Yeah, it was the entire budget. No, <laughs> um, I was sitting in a wheelchair, and Isaiah was oh, pushing yeah. me. And this is what it looks like in the final film. It looks beautiful, amazing, smooth, awesome. It, it looks fantastic. Here's what it actually looks like. It was bumpy as uh, hell. And it looked terrible. God. It looked ridiculously <laughs> bad to the point where I was like, I'll next shoot like we I'll just bring my longboard and we can reshoot this and I'll literally just like crouch down like boogie board style and like hold the camera because I would probably be smoother than this wheelchair it was it, it was looked, bad it looked bad it looked really <laughs> fucking bad and I, I was holding a stabilization thing and you were like the wheels are huge on a wheelchair it should theoretically it should look good but it yeah. looks so bad and then you just popped a popped a stabilizer on there mm. and good god stabilizers have come a long way since 2009 youtube when i used them last <laughs> yeah i was i i was with you on that like i remember i was like well we're gonna have to reshoot this because this looks terrible it looked unsalvageably and, bad yeah and then i like the thought of like putting a stabilizer on it i was like 
it's not because like i'm i remember like like you like 2009 youtube stabilization it's gonna look worse <laughs> yeah. like that's like what i <laughs> was exactly gonna make it what even we were i was like this is do. gonna look even worse but i'm gonna just i'm gonna try it and maybe i can tweak the parameters or whatever and i slap on a warp stabilizer in after effects and by god <laughs> That Monday. shit was fixed. <laughs> <laughs> done. Click done. And I Flex literally, tape. I sent it to you. I was like, dude, you're not gonna believe what just happened. It was absurd. Like, I sent you the original take first so that you could have it fresh in your memory. And then I, I, I sent you the warp stabilizer. I was like, can you fucking believe? <laughs> like, my thought, like, I didn't even think about, like, wow, it saved the shot. We don't have to shoot this again. My thought was like, wow, Adobe has really come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, how are we going to fix this? Oh, no. Yeah. That, that, was, that was a blessing. It was crazy. Because mm -hmm. we, we, we didn't have to reshoot too much. Mm -hmm. Like, um, We had to reshoot the basement scene, and then we had to get a couple of angles, new angles of you going in the... Um, in the when you're meeting George, like at the beginning outside, oh, yeah. we had to get a couple other takes mm -hmm. of that. I remember like the second day. Yeah. What else? Did, oh, what the, else did we have to reshoot? Yeah, the lighting. lighting the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, did we had a to get of that. those because the lighting didn't quite look like a car pulling up. Yeah. It looked like someone shining their iPhone <laughs> flashlight at you. I wonder Which is why that was. looked. Yeah. <laughs> wonder why it looked that way. Yeah, I I can't. I uh, those are the ones off the top of my head that I remember. We had to like redo. I don't. I can't remember too much else we had to redo. Redo. I remember we did a couple of like pickups, like for inserts, um, but like those weren't really like reshoots. Like those were just that was like additional like little things that yeah. a couple of those shots are in the movie. Yeah. Um, like little like things like you like moving your hands and like uh, like just like tensing up. I was. I'm. I'm glad that like you were taking all kinds of behind the scenes pictures because like I was running around like I only have a couple that like I took. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't really. I have a good amount. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Whenever we weren't shooting, I was kind of in my. It, it, when you're in the moment I, on summertime, when we yeah. shot that, I left my can I left my film camera in the car. I didn't hardly take any behind the scenes. Um, but I remember kind of regretting that, and I only had a couple behind the scenes and I was like oh these are so cool quick little iPhone videos of behind the scenes stuff yeah. I'm like I'm not gonna make that mistake again and in the moment you don't care because it's happening and you're having troubles and all oh, the pizza's not here this and that <laughs> but like it, it's good to have that stuff looking back on it's, it's, it's really cool to it's see cool, it. yeah. yeah to be like you know this is this is the people on the film these are the people behind and this is kind of the fun stuff that happened in between. Right. And then you can be like, oh, I remember what happened that day. And then like, oh, I took that right before this and that. And then we spilled all the blood on the floor. Tragedy and we, happened. You know, whatever. whatever. No, we didn't. Whatever good no, about we, we, we it. We what? did that. No, oh, we no. Didn't make just, we was, did not that make was a mess. That was purely hypothetical. Surprisingly enough, there wasn't any spillage. The tarps did very well. Yeah. It worked very well. Except the giant hole in the tarp. Yeah, if you keep we, talking, there'll be blood spilled everywhere. All right. <clears throat> making the depraved was was just such a great experience you know like the good the bad and the ugly like it was just it was just one of the most worthwhile things i feel like i've ever been a part of and it's all thanks to to the two of you and everybody else that was there so really thank you guys for for all that you do what was your favorite shot my you favorite shot i can tell you my favorite shot that we didn't get because <laughs> <laughs> it's not we couldn't get it mm. you remember I'll tell you. <laughs> cool. do, 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 do. Final Jeopardy. Oh, another squib? No, that was we. No, that second most. Third, third <laughs> squib. We that was on the table where at the end where you get shot. Yeah. We were gonna have a squib on you, but like there was just no way to like. There was so the much surrounds. space and so much. It was just, room that the squib could mess up. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna hold the tarps. But my favorite shot that we didn't get. Like the shot is still in the in the movie, but like it's it's different now. Mm -hmm. Is the fireplace? Oh, oh my yeah, because it wouldn't catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that shot so bad, uh, and it was working up until the night before we got there. Yeah, and then they said the fireplace isn't working. That's absurd. And there was like George and I were talking a little bit about it, like while we were trying to brainstorm some ways around it. And he was like, "Well, you could do it digitally." 
and I, I just I don't know. Like, there it is. Would have looked a little funky. It would have looked off. Mm-hmm. And you know, there's only one digital shot, like in the whole movie, that is like a like a digital visual effect. Is that the gun flare? Well, the, that so there's two. So there's <laughs> that, and when George gets shot at the end, mm-hmm. um, when he gets oh, shot in the head. Yeah. We tried to figure out a way to like rig a squib, like behind his head, and then like that was like a, basically a similar issue to like having a third set up on you. Mm-hmm. And we were just like, "Fuck, we can't do it." Yeah, because we don't know where this blood is going to go. Yeah. Especially and because we, like the shot was at the back of his head, right? And so what's the tarp would have been like. We in did a cu- Yeah, we did a cut, and it bounces off the back of his head, and then it's going to go this way, that way. At yeah. 360, there was no way to do. It. We mm-hmm. have a couple. We did a couple tests on you. Just blowing blood at the back of your head and just there was it no didn't consistency. Look good and it it was impossible to be safe with and it just yeah I couldn't do it yeah so, so then we thought let's get a triple palette like uh, three layer shot him him on green screen clean background clean plate blood against the green screen and then composite it all together and then we decided against <laughs> yeah you do that. I was like I don't feel like doing that so what I did. <laughs> was yeah, no in, what happened was what actually happened was i just i took that shot in after effects we did have a clean plate yep. so i layered the clean plate i layered george and i masked george and then put a digital blood splatter behind him color corrected it added grain to it and then popped it right in and and it advertised itself as 24 frames per second, but it wasn't. Oh, that's right. It was just the wrong frame rate, and they were lying. Yeah. So oh, I had to nice. like explain how to pause frames and frame match. So we were literally counting counting frames on oh, this, God. this digital effect because they just didn't Sounds know what awful. they were talking about. Yeah, it was. It it, it didn't take that long. No, but, but like it was like what the fuck? What are they doing? Like, come on, they're just lying. Yeah. yeah. In like and it's like a blink and you'll miss it shot. right and it was like, meant to be that way. literally meant to be like a blink. three frames yeah. Yeah. which is uh three sixtieths of a second mm-hmm. yeah i mean i i i guess you know what i guess that that's probably my favorite scene to watch yeah when he gets when he gets capped oh, and, and the blood <laughs> gets, gets all got, over maddie when he gets got and drops and she starts yeah. screaming you get up like i love that speaking yes. of do we have the one uh, oh, shot fuck. of you do dropping the, the blood. Where you <laughs> I, it? Sure we oh, I wish. I yeah. Hope so. Yeah. In the oh. first, we did it in two takes, and yeah. like I, I was trying to decide, at what level of force should I? Because we had this big Chuck like, this like bucket, giant of blood. bucket of blood. On. <laughs> and I'm like, what is my force? Because like I didn't want to like, like slam, slam it yeah. on her, mm-hmm. but I also like it needed to be enough. Mm-hmm. And I was so like worried that I was gonna like get it in her eyes or like hit her too hard, because it was I was the one doing it like right off camera. Yeah. Right. So call action Three, and I do it, and two, I just I wimped out. One, it, like, well, I it's it's like when you with. it's like when you do two words at once and like you're you're thinking like should I say good morning or hi to this person? You're like <laughs> hi, and it's yeah. like oh crap. So that's kind of like you didn't know how much force, you didn't know how little force, and you just ended up in the middle and just kind of went. Yeah, it just kind of dropped, but it dropped like right in front of her. Like yeah. there was no Ribble. blood on her. Yeah. Luckily, yeah, she yeah. was completely clean because you just completely missed. Yeah, so you just I make a whole was, new thing. It was thing. a complete air ball. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Seema, you do it. Because like, I don't, I don't want to fuck this up. Seema's like, all right. I, like, I don't give a shit about your face. I'm throwing it on there. Back for five years, I got this. <laughs> like, I think this just goes to show, like, I have like the wacky ideas that we that we do and then i have to hand them to other people <laughs> to execute i have an idea you do this mm-hmm. i mean that works that's kind of how a director does things that I is think. that is the way it like is a director's not usually like certain directors are a little bit different like you know when they have like cameos in movies or something like that which is not that I bad but like mm-hmm. yeah. but uh watch it on watch.trauma.now let me know if you find it <laughs> yeah, watch watch it now um but yeah you do you do very well with the you know like being a director being in the back being like do that go there cut uh, that kind of stuff so you know sitting there and doing that and also saying go and also saying cut and also having to look at like the performance it's just difficult to do all that at once it is so it's it's good to hand it off like to other people i did i did operate the squibs though yeah oh yeah because i remember seeing like three two one yeah yeah the, then, there's the best video oh my god do you have it yeah i have yes. it well i'll send it to you Rolling put out. it in there because yeah. i for when george gets shot that was the first squid that we did mm-hmm. 
God, it was. I was so fucking nervous. <laughs> like, I'm. I. We were outside, like rigging it up, and we got to pump the air pressure so that you know I can hit the trigger and then the blood will shoot out through the tube. And then we get inside, and we have to tell everybody like, okay, like this is ready to go. Like, nobody move, everybody hold your position, hold your breath, hold everything up, like the tarps and stuff, like everything that's surrounding, everybody hold it up, wait for my signal, seem to get by the camera, and then duck or wherever, I don't remember if you (laughs) ducked or not, or if you got out of the way. Where was I for that one? Did I put, like, I gave you, like, a trash bag, I remember, right? Um, Yeah, there was, like, a bag over the camera. Yeah, there was a bag over the camera. on top of the lens, but not blocking the lens. I wasn't worried about getting blood on me. In fact, I kind of wanted some blood. I was wearing my Egregious Intent t-shirt. I wanted some blood on it. I didn't, I wasn't worried about that. I just didn't want to go straight. If it it had actually hit the lens, I would have been kind of tight. I think it did on my leg one. It did. did. Some blood did (laughs) did hit the lens. I don't think it's it's in the final cut, but obviously... But I think I'm pretty I sure think I, did it. I think maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe on, on like the full film, like if you play the yeah, whole, the full clip, take but I don't know. About, I don't know about the oh. end. I thing. feel like did I cut? Did I? Maybe I cut. I, I think know. you cut uh, it. Go check it out on watch. Yeah, go now. check it out. Let us know from it out now. Mm, let, let me know check it out. because I can't remember. I'll stop my head. I don't remember either, to be honest. But I do remember it hitting there and, and looking at the lens and being like, "Is there a drop of blood on there?" Yeah, there is. It's we shot it in slow motion. But I so when we did the squid, I had to get under the table. <laughs> and, and call action and I'm like cause you know we tested this so many times and here we are I'm just like oh fuck like, cause I can't see if we are about to make a huge mess cause I'm hiding under the table with this trigger I have to wait for George to say his line at the proper moment and then pull it and then mm. and then you know it's time I say action he goes and I and I just hear it and then, you know, he drops and then hits the ground. And I don't know what happened. I'm still under the table. And I pop my head out, like whack a mole. And <laughs> I was just like looking around to make sure like we didn't fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody was just like, whoa, like we, yeah. like, that, we did it. And it yeah. was perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw it happen and I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. But that must have been insanely stressful for you to it hear was, it. It was tough. And like was, nobody's was... saying anything and he's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. And you're still like there. You don't know what happened. Hello? Because that was it. That was the shot. It was like, this is make or break. We have one shot of this. Like, that was our one shot can't with screw this, this up. Can't do this again. Because George take. was especially wearing a white shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I think some of the blood came off of my shirt that I got on there. But who knows how much would have come off. But his shirt was white. Yeah, that stuff's not coming off. <laughs> you get um, one try. So it yeah. turned out really good. Can't say that was my favorite scene to shoot. Oh, boy. No. Yeah. In hindsight, it was it was nuts that we pulled it off, but but yeah. in the moment, it didn't feel it didn't feel great. Yeah, that was our uh, Fast and Furious Five actually dragging a nine thousand pound safe down the street. Yeah, yeah, it's like holy shit, we actually did that. I it's really weird. I really can't say what my favorite scene to shoot was. There was a lot. There was a few. There was a few like, a lot of good ones. Yeah, like I feel like I really liked that moment where like i finally got to see really cut loose like that was like a really great moment to shoot and then when we did the basement the second time i was really happy i was really happy with that yeah it turned out really good yeah because that was a shot with a lot of potential and the first time we did it it was like damn like (laughs) this could be this could be really cool but it's just we blew it Mm -hmm. um but you know what? That's that's probably my favorite shot. We were doing favorite to shoot, favorite to watch. That's probably my favorite to watch in, mm-hmm. in the movie, even though I'm not super satisfied with my follow camming, you know. But I thought it looked great. It's just when, when I turn the corner and go up the stairs, I'm, I was staring at your ass a little bit too long. <laughs> yeah. and I, it's, I just couldn't help myself. I mean, there's nowhere else to really go. Right. No. So I get it. But, but like, yeah. I was just because I didn't want to go up too fast. Right. You know, it's supposed to be natural. Like, oh, I'm just coming back up from putting some pizzas in the freezer or something yeah. like, i'm just chilling so i had to go up kind of slow and i was like there's really no other choice right you know to look at my ass so yeah. i was like all right mm, of course and i'm like a hyper perfectionist so for that to be my favorite shot in the movie and it's one that i shot and i feel like i messed up that's really saying something that's like a tight yeah. shot you know yeah, yeah i really like that one another one that i just remembered that was pretty cool that looked pretty cool was me throwing the jacket Oh, which oh, somehow yeah. actually got somehow it. only took one that's take. favorite to shoot favorite to watch here's actually no, i'm changing no, my mind no 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 here's why no 
Here's no. why. Because I hit the camera directly. <laughs> yes, but that's that's not that wasn't the problem. Uh -huh. So we are we are low budget, and we don't have we don't have sound people. We don't have focus people. We don't have ACs. We don't have any of that. Mm -hmm. So you know we mounted the mic for whatever reason because the shot didn't require sound, but we had the mic oh, mounted yeah, on, mount on top of it, and it fucked up the mic and but it was it ended up being okay mm -hmm. but like all of the audio for the rest of the dialogue was useless oh yeah it tipped the little notch in it and like yeah. put it to like oh my god outside or something like that yeah that. and like i fucked with it in post like trying to like level it out and i leveled it out like good enough but luckily i remembered we had backup audio mm -hmm. rolling at the same time the for everything time. Thank God. Yep. <laughs> and the backup audio was fine it was perfect so i just we i was like literally like we were like about to just like well we fucked it up Gotta do everything sorry over everybody again. and we were about to like finish it up and like go to the premiere and then i found those files and at the last second like you and me like dropped them in yeah like just and it was and it was like night and day better yeah but it, it was a great shot like to get because it was a lot of fun it was really yeah. funny that, that was the one i was some, the most surprised we got on the first shot like yeah. i was like this one's gonna take a few things like i'm probably gonna miss which is not gonna look so good and then it came out really well the first time i was like all right yeah. that's good <laughs> i mean Dude. that was also not in the script too like we we figured that out in the yeah. first i think it was i think it was you who were like what if you just chuck his jacket what if you just are like fuck this jacket and then threw it and i was yeah. like sounds like good let's try it because yeah. i think there was i think we were talking about it and we we're just like if i take his coat i just leave and then just come back with food like or something like that and yeah. it was like it just seems kind of weird so it's just like no just chuck his jacket and i was like i like the way you think <laughs> so i was just like we threw it and i was like all right it was like a couple very well a couple of little changes like that like from the script yeah like um a good example is your last line in the movie when mm -hmm. when you uh take the bite of oh, the yummy yummy bite and you say uh want some that's not the line in the script. Line in the script is dumb, <laughs> and I I changed it at the last second. Isn't it like delicious or something like that? Yeah, it's it was like uh, it, like it tastes good. I feel like it's missing something, and you look at her like she's gonna complete it, yeah. and then it ends. She's freaked out. But I was just like, what if you just like want some, want some? <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I think it's better. Yeah. I agree. Personally. Mm. What do I know? <laughs> but, you know just, all of them are really fun to shoot, though. And I think they all turned out pretty well. Yeah. If it's my favorite, it's probably just because of, like, the knowledge of yeah. the behind the scenes of the shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. It was, it was all it was really fun to shoot. Well, Ever Marshall is... That's me. He's a real building of a man. <laughs> he is he's handsome he's strong he's talented my head is getting too big for this room you need to calm down <laughs> and i'm i'm just uh i'm just so glad to know you and i'm glad that you were a part of this film you did a thank terrific you for, job thank you for bringing me into this because yeah. it was a it was a really fun experience of to course be, man to be a part of it yeah uh and thank you for coming and, and doing this episode with us. It was a lot of fun. Of course. And it was good hearing things from, from your end and, and catching up because I haven't seen you in a while. So. I know. It's been a bit. It's been a bit. We yeah. both have busy lives. It's hard. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're, you're saving the world out there. Uh, I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> I do what I can. <laughs> well, listen, folks. The Depraved is available on watch.trauma.now. 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 Watch, watch, watch it. And, uh, you know, give it a watch. Leave a comment. Give uh, it a second watch. Give it a second or third or and fourth then, or fifth yeah, watch. You know, and by then, if you like, you know, you just want to see more, just keep watching. You know, yeah. it's up to you. Yeah, you keep watching. Because... I'd say you need at least six watches to get the full experience. Right. From different film. devices and different uh, computers. If you go to your mom's house, watch. If you go to your dad's house, watch. Headphones you... without headphones. Right, of course. With someone else, without you someone else. You want to get all of Watch while you're driving. Right. right, right. <laughs> I would. Okay, no. Beep. Nope. <laughs> Don't do that. Everett, I'm trying to give you something to do at work. Oh, God, no. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> listen, listen to the podcast while you drive. How about that? Driving the fire engine, like, through red lights, just, like, holding the phone. Uh, luckily the enough, I'm not driving yet, but I'm not going to do that. I'll get fired faster than you can even blink. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, it's available on Troma now. I think Troma now is going to be coming soon to Roku and uh, Apple TV. I don't have a release date on on that, but you know, when it's when it's out. It's not. But you know, maybe either, by so. the time you're listening to this, Troma now is available on Roku and Apple TV. You know what else is available on Troma now? But it's the depraved. You know, Watch The Depraved on Truman now, everybody. The Depraved. Uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, leave it in the comments of this video. Leave it in the comments on Truman now. Send me a DM. Call me at 3 in the morning. Tell me I'm a hack. <laughs> and never make anything else again. But your support means the world. And, you know, every view helps us fund the next one, which is called... And we're very excited, and it's going to be great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vote in the comments if you want to pray too. It's not, it's not coming, but you you're just get to see me limp anyway. for a few more minutes before I pass you out. Inevitably, die. do I die? Do yeah. I don't? You Seventeen know. minutes of you dead on the floor. Yeah. What are you bleeding out? With yeah. slow Is he breathing? Is he not? You know, just be staring at the same screen for ten minutes. Yeah, Calvin Brown dying for ten hours. <laughs> Compilation. Yeah. That'd be cool. Right. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Do you have the next this guest? Is a, or yeah. no? this, this is a good oh, rehearsal. Oh fuck! Yeah, I forgot. This is a good rehearsal, and you guys want me to start recording? <laughs> oh, well, it was good. Uh, good test, guys. Uh, I think this is all good stuff. We'll just have to do it again. Yeah, we're just ready. To, we're, are you ready to roll now? Um, yeah, I'm ready to start rolling. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> I did my I don't know who the fucking next guest is going to be. Uh, That's the problem. The next so. guest is going to be <laughs> Skylar Morris. And it's going to be great. Oh, wow. They, um, that was really uh, fun to work with them. They're going to have a great people. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're, they're the best and most fun yes. people. Really cool you're going to love listening to them. Uh, to ask him about that one time when we did that thing. And then, you oh, know, that's right. Yeah. It was, it was really cool. Crazy. It, was, it was a great story. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time. Bye. Peace.